And now let's recognize head coach Bob Krasinski from the High School. And we're this is where we should have been last year, if not farther, and for it to happen today, it's just, with these guys, it's surreal. Was it appropriate that Medina was the opponent? They were the last team you played last yeah. year. You knew them so well this year, yeah, too. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I love those guys over there. I, I've played with Corey before. I've played against some of those guys my whole life. And Coach Hessinger, that's one of the best coaches you, you'll find around the area. It's always hard to beat a team three times. Uh, we knew that they were going to give it their all. They came out and we couldn't put them away. I mean, just like last game, every time we play against Medina, it's always a battle. They have a great coach. They got really good players over there. And they're going to keep bringing it at us. And we just got to stay composed, be ready to play. And when it's tough moments, rally together and finish the game out. I mean, everybody did, I thought, a great job defensively. All the little things, but defensively, um, they're one and nine from threes the first half. I thought we hit, they, you know, make them earn every single bucket. Tripp was going to get his 20, 25. He's that good. But we just didn't want the other starters, the other players um, to get hot and hit threes. That was our philosophy. I like doing the little things because scoring is not everything. I love defense. Defense wins games. Rebounding wins games. Uh, playing help side defense wins games. And we are a big team. So it's usually me and Kip down there fighting and I will go to war with them any day. So if we, if I can't get maybe like eight rebounds, we don't have a chance to win, coach told me. So I'm always in practice, crashing the boards, just trying to get every rebound. It's like a game for me. Every rebound I can get, it feels amazing. We, we've been harping on it ever since you know we came out of that Jackson game that beating a team three times in one year like Caliber and Medina is it's one of the hardest things you could do so you know we had two of our best practices all year and we came ready to play I'd be remiss if I didn't ask about Luke he played as well as he's played this year initiating the things from the point right what's it been like playing with him all season you know it's great having a point guard that can control the pace of the game he uh, is great at facilitating and we, we know that even when things get bad he can pull it together uh, he's gonna knock down free throws, do all the little stuff, and everything else. So it, it was, it's great having him on the team. Thinking back to last year, how it ended, does that make this any more sweeter because of that uncertainty of the way last year ended? It does, and this whole year was the uncertainty never really left. Um, and the players handled COVID and January and February the entire season so well. And this was, um, you never want to be arrogant, but there was one goal. And I think even though it's so hard to get here, um, those young men would have been extremely disappointed had we not had the opportunity to win a state title. These guys, you know, we want it more than anybody in the state right now. You know, we're going to celebrate this one tonight, and then we got five days till we head down there where we're going to do everything in our power so that we can be holding up that trophy.